Good not quite morning, everyone. Welcome into twitch.tv forward slash ice cream was my name. It's Graham Day, and I'm joined by the man that we call Bibi. Hi! Hi. All right, I'll read. <laughs> Good after morning. There's a lot of Bibby flatulence. I know, I know. Just looking at the chat, I mean, perfect way to start the show. Hi, I'm Graham. This is flatulent Bib. Nice. I'll read. Gale Force Bib. <laughs> Welcome in everyone to uh, twitch.tv forward slash ice cream uploads. My name is Graham D. I'm joined by Bibby, as we've said already, and as you can see on screen, and we are bringing you the penultimate scoop and the penultimate stream from this studio mm -hmm. in 2022. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the second mm -hmm. to last stream from this studio in 2022. Madness. Mm -hmm. Madness! Absolutely. Don't even feel like five seconds ago since we got all of this updated. We had everyone in for the uh, community meetup. And yep. this, uh, like each of those feels like five seconds ago. One of them was six months ago-ish. One of them was like nine months ago-ish. Oh, crazy, crazy. How are we all doing though? Hey, hey. Uh, G just hit second pubic. Oh, I'm going to hit it about 15 times across the course of <laughs> this show. To be fair, I w I'm, I'll take that because I went, the man that we call baby, and I got like, even that. Like I, I couldn't hit any of those notes the other day, so I'm slowly getting back to full knobhead. Oh, I'm, God. I'm only about 60% knobhead at the moment. Yeah. Just in time for our K club on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Anyway, so uh, welcome in. Hi. If you don't know who we are, as I've mentioned twice already, I'm Graham. It's been where I scream uploads, and in true ice creamy fashion, this is the scoop, the UK's number one video game podcast. If we do say so ourselves. How are we sounding? Is it crispy? It, in echoes? my ears, it sounds great, but it always sounds like mine echoes. But I don't know if that's because I can hear myself with me talking, and then it's coming through this, and it's going back into my ears again. So it sounds like it's like a three-way verb. Um, all right, okay, welcome to uh, twitch.tv forward slash ice cream reports. I know, I can, I can still hear it coming through the headset. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Not even an echo from Bib. Okay, so far, give it well, five seconds. Yeah, exactly. I think um, me running it not through the same... Uh, I've run a separate one. Uh, I, ran, I ran a second <coughs> wire now that goes hardwired into it rather than going through the USB bus. And I think that may have yeah. sorted it rather than two connections going through one different US, uh, one USB port. I think that may have sorted it. Tech stuff. Tech stuff. It's nice. trial and error, isn't it? You nice. know what I mean? Nice. Always try, trial and error. Ewa. Nice. Ewa. Ewa. <laughs> <laughs> trial and Ewok. Let's go. Um, ah, a power draw. I mean, that's what they call us. Yeah. Yeah, we draw all the power. Okay, nice. Whatever. Uh, I was going to suggest that myself. I mean, I, yeah, me, me too. But I thought, you know what? It's, it's better for me to let Bibi figure this out. Absolutely. For, his, for himself. So yeah. he can develop rather mm -hmm. than being told. So, yeah. Nice. All of the things. Yeah, nice. Uh, anyway, uh, we are here to talk about video game news for the next, I say, hour or so. It's going to be about half an hour because Bibi mm. has to leave. Because, uh, you know, lightweight, don't, don't really pull his weight. <laughs> There's a, lot, there's a lot of weight to pull, Graham, so it will take longer than half an hour. <laughs> nice. Uh, I mean, I brought in chocolate biscuits as well. So I don't you did. Know, they, they were fantastic. They, I, I saw both. I saw at least one of the boxes already in the bin by the time we yeah, come down. So they the, got demolished. To be fair, you started that one because you opened the first, you yep. took it, and then everyone was like, ooh. Because what's it? What's it a re like a replica of my favourite biscuit? Chocolibnis. There you go. Chocolibnis. Balsam chocolibnis. Good shit. Um, so, yeah, over the next half an hour or so, we're going to bring you the biggest, the best, and breaking stories from the world of video games. We'll give you our thoughts, depressions on the stories we want to hear your thoughts and impressions on those stories and then your thoughts and impressions on our thoughts and impressions so if you're in the chat please do feel free to get involved we are live on twitch.tv forward slash ice cream uploads where we go live thoughts are almost coming in the room then it's I did too, yeah. <laughs> where we go live each and every single weekday at 10 a.m massive ish nice it's not quite 10 a.m it's half past three but it's fine it's close enough <laughs> Anyway, so if you are in the stream, please do feel free to get involved because a lot of people do watch this on demand. We are live on Twitch, but the live stream is turned into a podcast, a video on YouTube, and an audio podcast on iTunes, and Spotify, and SoundCloud, and Google Play. There is lots of places where over 165,000 people uh, have watched this show on demand. So please do feel free to get involved on behalf of those people. Before we go any further... Do check out our sponsors. You can see them all on the screens just above us. Uh, Astro, Insert Coin, GT Omega, and you're watching us on Twitch, so nice. Uh, exclamation mark, Astro, exclamation mark, Insert Coin, exclamation mark, GT Omega in the chat. If you want to find out any of those details, we do give you discounts at all of those stores. Some of them mm -hmm. even help support the channel if you buy Ooh. anything, so do feel free uh, to do that. Also, reminders that we do give away a prize to a subscriber every month, and the first Monday of the month next year, He's obviously the ninth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. that works. Because that's the first Monday we're back in. So the ninth, if you're a sub on the 9th of January, we will export the list. If you're in that list, you will be in with the chance of winning a prize. We haven't decided what mm -hmm. that is yet. We'll probably decide that together after Christmas. We'll get yeah. to that point at some point soon. Before we go any even further... Oh, my God. 
I'm sat on Tito's face. Are you? I am. How does it feel? Oh, it's, it's it's actually it's actually nice. Is uh, it? Yeah, Pleasant. I wasn't I wasn't sure. I thought maybe a bit bristly, but no, smooth, is fantastic, yeah. nice. So for Good. those that don't know what I'm on about, Tito is uh, he sent himself through to ice cream upwards. There we go. Yeah, two G on your birthday. From the best mod. Legend. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Confirmed. <laughs> it's now in writing that he is the best mod. So so if anyone else wants to be the best mod, the only way you can do it is to confirm it in writing too, or fight to the death. The second one's preferable. Yeah. It, it, especially if we can, keep two mods. I mean, we want to do some casting over the top of it as well, you know. As long as you've got <laughs> some like cameras and stuff and we can remote into it, jobs are good. Yep. Nice. And uh, the Tito Cup that I ended up getting, I put it in the Discord. We have officially, I think it was nine days left of me using my uh, Grogu cup and then we roll into next year. When, uh, when Tito says out. I'm easy with, with either. Nice. Mate, f- f- I mean, the death he, is. He, he, <laughs> he's got all that collateral now, hasn't he? He's just bought, he's just bought a house. He's going to risk it all. I mean, it's like, fuck it, I've got, I've got my own space. It's my, I think of all the activities. Absolutely. Like, actually, his space, there'll be cameras everywhere, bits of grass just strewn everywhere. Absolutely. Nice. That, nice. He's got the best deal in the world, really. And maybe, <clears> not, <throat> maybe not in terms of the, what he's had to go through, but in terms of he doesn't have to move. Yeah, he's bought a house and his moving doesn't exist. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. He's, just, nice. he's, he's already got everything where it needs to be. Like, it, there's, there's no expensive removal vans coming in helping him out and the hired help or whatever that comes with it. The stress of having to move your entire life from one place to another. I feel like we should all chip in and get Tito to hire a removal van. And then when he pulls up at his house, get him to put like one box in the back of it and then give him the postcode. <laughs> I mean, waste of 200 quid. Everyone's struggling, but it's fine. Yeah, absolutely. It's fine. We just send a load of empty boxes and bubble wrap down to him as well, just for the headache of him having to get rid of it. <laughs> this would be worth it, be worth it. Nice. Um, okay, let me let me jump back up. Do you know what? I won't scroll back up. If, if, if I have missed anything, do feel free to say hello. I did see JMK dropping in with the time early on. I did see Tito do that too. Viv's in. Hey, how you doing, Neil's Viv? Uh, Neil, all right. Um, best move ever. Ever. Yeah. Not everything uh, I can properly hang pictures now and paint a wall. It sucks ass that, doesn't it? Like I know I know obviously from the landlord's perspective you don't want people putting putting holes in your walls and shit. That'd be a, a pain in the ass having to like replaster it and stuff like that. But like not even being able to use like command strips or some shit like that. Uh, that won't I even mean, put an imperfection in the wall. I mean I'd, they're not gonna find out. I'm gonna command strip that shit <laughs> fucking <laughs> all day. Uh, I don't think you can command strip a floating uh, shelf though. Give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's find out. Yeah, absolutely. Fifteen pound for the command strips. Probably a lot more. That's going to be just, on the shelf. Just make sure you buy the M, the M three command strips and not Wilco's own. I've made that mistake before. Like what? Okay, nine command strips for three quid. <laughs> when I can get twenty five for one pound fifty. No, it's it, a real one. It, it's like you, it's literally like you put the, the Wilco one on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> No, it could weigh nothing. <laughs> One piece of A4 piece of paper. We ain't we ain't holding that. Nah, we ain't nah, holding that. Ain't got time for that. Uh, good day, fellas. Welcome back, Nick. How we doing, dude? Command strips are go. Need about fifty, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, all of my tiles that I've got on my wall, like the um, the jagged sort of, mm-hmm. not the form tiles, but the ones that do the same thing. Um, it was a case of I could not be asked with screwing or drilling. Like I think there's about sixty tiles on the wall, so I was just like command strip that shit. So yeah, it's all command strip. Oh, yeah, you see, that's it. such a smart move because did I tell you what I did with mine when I moved in? Did you put them on, a, on a like? Did, is this you put them on the wall first, and then did you put them on a board afterwards or something? Like no. That? So I've got this stuff that's on the wall. You guys can't see it, but it was a soundproofing stuff, and like very much like here, it's exactly the same. So. You know the the the, the, the carpet, man. yeah, the carpet stuff that you put, that you put it down with, just fucking welly and that on the wall and stuff like. Obviously for air, it's a permanent thing. But if I ever need to change where I was sat in my office, I was fucked, and that's exactly what happened. So I was ripping you took it, it off, off, and then you just got like it's it's oh. like hairy back yeah, all the wall. It, it took forever to have there with steamer constantly. Like oh, I, it was I, about three days. I knew it had been like that. So that's why, like when I got my, when I got these form tiles, I got command strips for that. Because um, I was reading it and someone was like, yeah, you just get yourself a big piece of cardboard or a bit of wood, stick them all on that, and then you can just pin the wood to the wall. And I was like, it's just a bit of effort that, because then I've still got to do the pinning mm. bit. And then I just, I found someone that said, just get the command strip, stick one command strip on the back of your tile and go. And I was like, 
never because there's no way that's never pulling the command strip and it's never pulling itself off the command strip either so that's all I did when my wall was these tiles I just went command strip command strip, command strip command I mean strip, that would have cost strip. me like an extra £700 to be able to put my foam ones on the wall but I managed to get some really nice like textured stuff like this but it's white brick and it's got adhesive on the back already that I could just yeah it just comes well, off that easy well these because I got like tiles that were that sized and I did like I've got a window in front of my desk so I basically had like a a U sort of shape and then the side walls. I think it was only about, it was about 30 tiles um, and you get about 15-ish command strips. So it was just like six quid to yeah. put the whole thing on the wall. I was like, six quid all in and I don't have to get any drilling. Don't have to fucking, <laughs> I yep. did like 45% of my room, which was a right pain in the ass. <laughs> nice. Um, staple gun mine to the wall. Nice. Brexit. I'll read Lotus. Uh, on a board. Oh, so you staple gunned your board to the wall. Huh? Okay, that's nice. Because that's just like, you just get one of those little tubes of, like, what's it called? Filler. And just stick it over it. Jobs are good. And if you got, and then you get a tester pot of the mm. same paint so that you can just go straight over the top of that. Jobs See, that's, good that's all. Uh, I wonder, would wallpaper have paste, paste held up? I bet it would have done, you know. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. On the back of it. It's just, just so then you'll, you, you'll have the same sort of shit, though, with the, uh, like, the spray mount when you're putting it straight onto the wall. Yeah, but when you're taking off. Um, wallpaper is quite easy with the steamer in it because it's just glue it just comes off so all you need to do is just get the scrape and go Psh, like that whereas with this I had to hold that motherfucker on like the amount of times I had to fill, do fill up the steamer unit just to be able to keep it on and then wait for it and then you know, <laughs> like, wait. Oh, it was, uh, no, never com again command strips because you just go yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Job's good. Nice. Perfect. Um, good afternoon, number two mod. I lost UK. Good afternoon, number one mod. <laughs> no one mod. <laughs> uh, the mod no one cares about. Oh, here he is. It's Hans Druber. Mate, that uh, was fantastic. <laughs> that was, was absolutely fantastic. I was talking about you a little bit earlier, Andrew. So when you responded to the Southern Cunts uh, <laughs> about the gravy content, um, and I was saying to I was saying to Bib, I was like, fucking Drew. I mean, I read the comment out, which got a laugh, naturally. But that says, but the best bit is, is like, Obviously, Bibby on Twitter is Father Bibmus. I've not Christmas uh, Christmased my name this year because Graham Day, I changed my name to Christmas Day. And I've done it a few years. And I thought, you know what? I, I can't beat that. So this year, I've just not bothered. But Drew's gone in with a Christmas name and he's called himself Hans Druber, which Fantastic. is fucking exceptional. It's just like every time I get hold of a walkie talkie, the one finger scream down, where's the damn minutes? <laughs> every single time. I can't. I, it's amazing. Love it. I probably just read what he was wearing earphones because I probably just blew your eardrum. I thought worth got, it though. I, I didn't know what you were doing at first. I thought you were going Batman. Like, no. where's where is she? Where's the girl? Where is the dead <laughs> Uh Not here to make you feel good. Uh, poor old sad. I can't see what that is because chatbots just not sure. It is whatever that is. Oh, someone's sad. Oh no. Uh, just call me Teed. Ho ho ho. Nice. Uh, okay, we are here to talk video game news. We're gonna fly through stories because we have 21 minutes we've got 21 minutes to go uh and we're gonna start off get two off here what you the know? fuck why is my trackpad a piece of shit i know trackpads are a piece of, there we go it's working again now um i know trackpads are a piece of shit but fuck god damn okay we're gonna start off talking about epic uh who have to pay 520 million dollars to settle a bunch of ftc allegations this story was shared in our discord yesterday i, th I can't remember who shared neil, it was it neil yeah mm -hmm. i remember i remember tito responded to it yeah uh, with the exclamation mark shocked stuff uh, so shout out to Neil for sharing this in the Discord we do have uh, some good news though you can get free stuff from Epic so they're great people <laughs> nice we'll follow that up with this and then we have a few other stories too but we'll, we'll, we'll jump into that as it gets to it for now though uh, we'll jump into this Tom Ivan at VGC has nothing for you guys get screwed what? why is that not showing on there <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> uh, uh, uh. this is wild uh, have, you, have you gone on uh, oh is the camera on? <coughs> uh, Do you know, I wonder if there's something wrong with the USB thing because none of the cameras are working. <laughs> <coughs> this is weird. Do you know what? We'll just mime it. We'll just mime it for you guys. It's weird though because it's coming up on that. Mm. Do you know what? Let's come back to me. I'll, I'll, uh, let me take that mouse. I can go into studio mode and have a play. We could. I mean, we've only got 20 minutes. Should we just read the story rather than bringing it up on screen for this for this yeah, episode? Yeah, we'll do that and then yeah. I'll figure it out afterwards. I bet the capture card just shit itself or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually we, when we're on this screen, I can change to the other cameras. So I press this button. 
and nothing happens to you because we should be on that camera. And then if I press this button, we should be up there. But that's not happening either. Although if I press this one, we go to no signal. So something is clearly wrong with our inputs. Because, you know, it's end of the year. Fuck it. Fuck this shit. Yeah, it's already on, it's already on Christmas. <clears throat> for now, though, we'll just read the story for you guys, even though you can't see it. So Epic will pay a record $520 million to settle FTC allegations. Um, this is written by Tom Ivan at VGC. The tagline says, The Fortnite maker was accused of violating children's privacy and tricking players into making unwanted charges. So Fortnite maker Epic Games has agreed to pay over half a billion dollars to settle a pair of complaints brought against it by the US Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. In two separate record-breaking settlements, the FTC said Epic will pay a $275 million penalty for violating the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Copper. Mm-hmm. Nice. And $245 million to refund consumers tricked into making unwanted charges. In a federal complaint, the FTC had alleged that the Epic violated the copper by collecting the personal information of Fortnite players under the age of 13 without notifying their parents or obtaining verifiable consent from a guardian. It also said that Epic had violated the FTC Act by enabling real-time voice and text communications for children and teens by default, resulting in some players being bullied, threatened, harassed, and exposed to dangerous and psychologically traumatizing issues. Epic will now be prohibited from enabling voice and text communications for children and teens unless affirmative consent is provided through a privacy setting. In a separate complaint, the FTC alleged that Epic used dark patterns and billing practices to trick players of all ages into making unwanted purchases and let children amass uh, unauthorised charges without any parental involvement. Quote, Fortnite's counterintuitive, inconsistent and confusing button configuration led to players to incur unwanted charges based on the press of a single button, the FTC said. For example, players could be charged while attempting to wake the game from sleep mode while the game was in the loading screen or by pressing an adjacent button while attempting to simply preview an item. Up until 2018, Epic also allowed children to buy Fortnite in-game currency by simply pressing buttons without requiring any parental or cardholder action or consent. The FTC claimed that Epic ignored more than 1 million user complaints over players being wrongfully charged. It also alleged that Epic locked the accounts of players who disputed unauthorized charges with their credit card companies, meaning they were blocked from accessing any content they had purchased. Going forward, it will be prohibited from doing so. Quote, as our complaints know, Epic used privacy invasive default settings and deceptive interfaces that tricked Fortnite users, including teenagers and children, said FTC chair Lena Khan. Protecting the public and especially children from online privacy invasions and dark patterns is a top priority for the FTC. We'll, we'll leave it there. We get the idea. We get the idea. Basically, I'm going to change back to the screen that we're already on. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, basically, um, it's not sounding good. Thoughts, babe? Mm, um, I always find it difficult to talk about this stuff in relation to the experience that I don't have in this scenario. Like, it's very easy for me to be at the very top and saying, you should be monitoring what your kids are doing on the on, on any console. Like, I know times are hard now and more people are probably paying more attention to their bank balance and, and any kind of transaction, you'll probably be able to flag it straight away. Um, but it, and I'm try, I like to try and be impartial with this stuff, but I, I, at this moment in time, I can't because I haven't got this kind of experience to be able to say this is right or wrong. Like I understand from the very top that having invasive microtransactions that at the slip of a finger could cost you 69 quid. Um, but it, I, I mean... I, I genuinely don't know. Like they, they, these people are a lot more smarter than I am, and have put a lot more time into creating something where they can go to the Federal Trade Commission and go, right, this is this is what's wrong. This is a one button press, whereas this is a three button press, and this is how much could uh, could potentially happen. Like Epic, this is going to sound like I'm siding with them, but I well within their right to dis- have unauthorized disputes being put to the side until. They are apps. They have unrelated. Uh, like the amount of evidence is overwhelming that something fucky has gone on on their account. Like if that was the case where it was just an instant refund, then that just wouldn't work in society because uh, they'd have to work across the board for everything. Then rather than it just being uh, Fortnite or any kind of Epic Games, but it's <clears throat> again, I, I, I find it difficult to be able to call, to to have a full spin on this because the, the usually the only way that you can is through experiencing it yourself and obviously this isn't going to happen to me for a while until obviously Joseph 
is playing so, video so games think, and that's so what you think he's absolutely smashing his way through Fortnite right now he's level 26 I would absolutely, on the battle pass <laughs> he's got himself a doom slayer um, but yeah like it's I, I understand that this is obviously a massive massive thing in terms of the whole the, all the video games this isn't just an epic games problem where the where kids are taking their parents <laughs> credit cards and spending money like so I just just read the chat then so <laughs> uh, just it's Neil's not playing football tonight because it's date night with uh, date night with a wife uh Lotus has been her off. Uh, Tito uh, which is which is already Lotus. This is where Lotus starts off. Been her off. Okay. Uh, Tito says, got all Christmas and New Year's for that. Lotus says, cook her a meal, give her some dishes to keep her busy. <laughs> uh, Standard sexism. Tito there. says, run her a nice hot bath, light some candles, to which Lotus says, throw in a toaster. <laughs> what the fuck? Lotus has gone zero to 100. <laughs> that's it. That's it. He's, he's, he's the no one mod. <laughs> the no two mod. Get in. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, that's the bit. I, didn't, I was just reading through the chat. Uh, I, I mean, make some toast. <laughs> Kappa, he says. Uh, so yeah, nice. Well, I mean, it, like when, when it comes down to like, you've had the discussion before with Chloe having a child's account when it comes to stuff, and obviously she will age out of that eventually. And then it, does the account automatically switch from a, a child account to a full blown account? I was there was too many restrictions that you couldn't like you if you have a child account, you basically take your control away as a parent and you put it on PlayStation, which basically means. There is no control. You get nothing. So in the end, I had to make Chloe a second account, a parent or an adult account, and just monitor what she did on it. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, like even like PUBG, for example, she wasn't old enough to play that game. So PUBG goes, nah, you can't. We can see from your PlayStation account that you're not old enough. So, so I had to make her another one, even though I was happy with her playing that game yeah. with me um, which obviously you're allowed to do as a parent as long as you're supervising your children they can play games of any age uh, mm. uh, with you um, and certain games I wouldn't mind for me a couple of blood splats and seeing a body drop to the floor isn't much diff excuse me much different from blue flashes and then loot dropping to the floor it's the same same really I'm, I mean it's splitting hairs so for me um yeah, I can't really comment on child accounts because it was just a shit. It it was it was so unhelpful that it became pointless. Yeah, which, you should you should just be able to your your Graham Day's account is the parent account and then your daughter's is underneath that one and you are you, you can change that settings from within your account. That's the perfect scenario. Yeah. It's like 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 nothing does it. Apple's family sharing is shit. I imagine like no one ever praises Google for having a similar thing, so I imagine theirs is shit. Apple don't really know how to do it. Google don't know how to do it. PlayStation don't really know how to do it. Xbox might figure it out because they're having rumoured uh, game plan, uh, game pass plans that come covering the family mm. and stuff, so they might figure it out. But yeah, there is there is no system out there, so it's it's understandable why people fuck shit up because the systems out there aren't really built for it. Yeah, but that's when you get into this sort of situation where. Whether Epic did it maliciously or not, having it where you can just press a button, and it, it could be the button that you press to wake your screen up. If your screen's dimmed because it's fallen asleep and you press one button, it goes, oh, you've bought that now. It's like, what the fuck? I was literally just waking my laptop up because my screen had come up. I thought I bought with a controller on uh, and I've bought fucking 40 quid's worth of V-Bucks. You see, I find that bit hard to believe. Unless you've genuinely just put the controller and you've tabbed across and you've been looking around with it and you put your controller down and then you come back to it and you press X or A to wake it up and it, I'm sure it isn't just a one button press to buy I, something. I mean, the fact that this has been investigated and they've settled for $275 million makes me believe it, it probably was mm. the case. I mean, like we've all been there where various games it might be a case of you're in PUBG and you're in the plane and you go into the menu and you press circle to back out and the game thinks you've pressed it twice and you end up just eating yourself out of the plane it's like well, okay well we're not going where we thought we were going boys because I've already left <laughs> so like it's it's the equivalent of that but on menus yeah. and 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 like we've all been in those situations where you're on on cutscenes do I press start is it going to mm. pause it or is it going to skip it because I want to watch it but I need to fuck off so you press start in the gamble and oh fuck I've skipped it it's, it's that sort of thing mm. but with purchases and the fact that they've they're paying over half a billion um, I do feel like there's, there's clearly some dodgy stuff in there yeah. in terms of, dodgy in terms of were they breaking the law maliciously or is, was it it's that sort of trade-off. You've got UX making things super easy for people, and then you've got 
UX that's too easy and it's mm. gone too far. You need a bit of a stopgap. And they probably you could argue, and they they could probably argue that they would they would try and fucking uh, ride on that line, and they've gone too far yeah. one way or whatever. Um, the thing for me though is okay if you've gone too far fine uh sort that shit out and epic does have quite a good reputation with sorting stuff out i know like you can ask enix it buys skins and go do you know what? actually buy remorse instantly i want my money back and epic go okay fine there you go and you got there's something on your account i don't know if you've got like three or four attempts or, or times at this per year or it forever if you buy something you can get your money back and and so they are quite good at doing that sort of stuff in terms of I, I could have bought a season pass and thought, fuck, I didn't actually really have the money for that. Give me, give me back. Or I could have bought some V-Bucks, give it me back. You can do chargeback stuff within mm. the game and they are quite quick at that sort of stuff. So part of me wants to give them the benefit of the doubt. But then when you're seeing things about um, accounts that have tried to get their money back and they've got nanny and then they've locked accounts out and, and then people have gone, okay, well, well no, then they've just like uh, froze them out. Or, so then they've gone, okay, well, if you're not going to give me money back, I'm going to charge it back through my credit card company. And then they've blocked their entire account out. That's when I'm thinking, okay, this is, this is not the, oh, if you've done something wrong, we'll give you your money mm. back. Oh, we'll get rid of loot boxes. So we're not exploiting people. So it's like, okay, are we just getting a public persona versus how you really act yeah. when it actually comes down to brass tacks kind of thing. So, I mean, that's that's where we are. That's yeah. where we are uh, for me is, I, I have a lot of faith and a lot of trust in Epic. They're making waves for developers. Um, they're fighting good fights for consumers. Don't get me wrong. We've said a million times before, there's probably a lot of profit chasing in that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, they won't continue to do it if it wasn't. <clears throat> but they are doing a lot of things. They are getting rid of loot boxes for season passes and return on investment cosmetics mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So they have done a lot of stuff. And Epic's, to, to, to balance it out, Epic's uh, comment in this article says, no developer creates a game with the intention of ending up here. We accepted this agreement because we want Epic to be at the forefront of consumer protection and provide the best experience for our players. Over the past few years, we've been making changes to ensure our, because our ecosystem meets the expectations of our players and regulators, which we hope will be a helpful guide for others in our industry. So in this shit situation, they've spent half a billion dollars trying to rectify the situation and they have made a bunch of changes and stuff over the last few years without knowing too much more unless anyone else has any extra ev evidence or anything for me that for me sounds as a okay over the last three years we've done a lot of shit that we've improved on and built on video games and battle royales and loot boxes were a different world three mm -hmm. years ago compared to where they are now so with that unless some, unless someone shows me something different i'm happy to give them the benefit of the yeah. doubt on that one i'd love to know how many people how many parents have their card auto saved on their account just for the ease of every month the PSN or the Xbox Live expires or the Nintendo Online uh, expires and just for ease of them, them not going out and having to buy a prepaid card or whatever it is they just allow it to be on there which is just so easy for kids who don't know and understand the concept so I don't understand the concept of money and I'm 32 like oh, thankfully <laughs> thankfully my wife is so good with money I'm I've always been really really bad with money um but she understands that. But that that in turn, as, I understand the concepts of money of not going into a video game and dropping 70, 70 quid on uh, V bucks or whatever. But kids don't understand that. They're not yeah. asked. They're just asked about whatever's in the e shop or whatever's on the the V book shop or whatever it is. That that's all they're asked about. So I would love to know. I mean, the, the the quick way around it is if you are a parent, take your card off the off the account and then buy 12 months worth of PlayStation Plus or three months or go into CD keys or whatever other third party site and just get redeeming codes for them because believe me, it'll save you money in the long yeah. run anyway. But we are, to, as humans, programmed to do the easiest thing and to take the easy road and that is, unfortunately, leaving your card on the account for it to auto-renew as and when it needs to. I had to take it off my brother. So he thankfully, he never spent any money with it with being my card. Now I was paying for his PlayStation Network or his Xbox Live or anything. He'd never go above and beyond um, to try and take that money out of my account or buy something for Rocket League, but there was no way I was going to give him the possibility to because I know he would. Well, not that I think he would, but even, like say, just a slip and that 35 quid comes out of my account that I don't have, I, I'm, I'm never going to get that back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I have um, automatic payment stuff set up, but obviously I I 
I can control my finances in that sort of sense. It's a good thing for me. Um, but if that was a case of if Chloe wasn't old enough or mature enough to have access to a PlayStation that had access to my account, mm. then it, I wouldn't have any payment details that she could exploit in that sort of situation. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't have that anyway, but... Um, yeah, if, if if we were using a shared console, she was using my console that had the payment details on, then it'd be a case of, well, you've got a completely different account and, and so on. I'm not giving you my stuff. If you want stuff, you have to come to me. And that we had all those conversations. If you want stuff, you can have that, but it comes out of your money and you have to pay for it. If you want something that costs 25 quid and you've got 24 quid, you're not getting it because mm -hmm. you've not got enough money for it. I mean, yeah, obviously. It's a good last lesson to learn, though. Like, yeah. I, I know that. I understand that. I understood that when I was a kid. Like having that be ability to have pocket money and that's being deducted from mine. Fair enough, like my nan and granddad and my mum was always super sportive. If I needed a new pair of football, but it was something to go and play 11 aside, then they'd be like, bosh, no worries, we're going to get you that. But if it's something stupid, then they'll be like, no, you, you can pay for that yourself. Like, you want a new game? Pay for it yourself. You want whatever else? You have to pay for it yourself. Unless it's something that I genuinely need, they'd go and pay for that for me. Just go up in Yorkshire, you pay for everything yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you want what? Water? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, in the uh, comments, Tito says, um, and because we couldn't see the article on screen, he says, the scoop really isn't the same without seeing ads for Twitch's new fart meta with Amaranth. <laughs> uh, fake news. That was actually a VGC article, not the Gamer mm. website, so it wouldn't have been on that one. Uh, Tito says, my only comment on this is you have to remember the games companies, uh, that games companies are now hiring psychologists to make games more appealing, bordering on addictive. That I have, uh, that I have a massive issue. Uh, I worry too much about making a game where ma uh, money making is the objective, not making a fun game that you're happy to spend money on. I mean, that is, is, that is well, a fun fact. game is, a, is an addiction though yeah. like you can play PUBG for hours and hours and hours and hours you don't have to put any money into that one like if mate, having a game make money and it also being fun uh, they, they can go hand in hand if they need to you don't have to have a psychologist to help with that it's just another venture yeah, on the yeah. side we, we've, we've spoke about like how anything can be an addiction mm -hmm. uh, fun itself is an addiction like, people that. watching porn's an addiction do you yeah. know what I mean like it's it, anything can be an that, addiction that psycho psychologist thing though so so uh, Pez people might remember Jonas Ligard, who used to be part of the Pez team. He actually came from EA. And I remember when he was at EA, he was quoted in the news. This was before he even became a Konami Pez guy kind of thing. He was quoted in the news, like, like interviewed. This guy is using psychology to take your money off you in that sort of sense. And it was like they were like his job was looking at data and statistics to see um how hard things should be in terms of uh, like what they need to do to make you play more, what they need, they need to do to make you play less. And then if playing less means that you spend more so that you feel more competitive or play more means you spend more and all of that psychology, um, that doesn't just apply to uh, Jonas and EA or Konami or any other game. That applies to all of them. There is lots of metrics that work on how they can take as much money off you as possible. It's just just business. Mm -hmm. uh, so that stuff, I don't I don't have an issue with that because that is understanding the psychology of sales, and that's 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 been something that has been done forever. That's like you'll see those old snake oil salesmen in like. Uh, Red Dead Redemption that'll go, go around with carts and they'll, hey, step right up, step mm. right up. And you, sir, we've never met before, have we? No, we haven't, Steve. And it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? And, I mean, that's all the psychology of the mind. It's get, getting someone to give you a social recommendation. Oh, I love that. I've never used this before in my life and I'm drinking. Why is your face on the van? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's all the same sort of shit. That's, that's been part of sales from the dawn of time. It's just a different way of putting that in. So mm. that stuff, uh, I'm not too, not too bothered about. There was something else um, that you mentioned. Uh, uh, there's an FTC paper on dark patterns. One of the takeaways I couldn't agree more with more is the binning off of virtual currencies. Virtual currencies' sole purpose is confused. That I agree with. Mm -hmm. And that is one of my single biggest disappointments with PUBG. Is PUBG used to have no G coin. It used to have, you want to buy this skin? One ninety nine. You want to buy this? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but uh, Fortnite had V-Bucks and stuff. And everyone was like, oh, this is great. This is great. But then PUBG clearly looked at Fortnite and realised... Well, they've got their own currency. Everyone else has got their own currency. Um, and the reason for that is because you'll spend 15 quid, get your, your V-Bucks, your G-Coin, your whatever. Um, and that's, a, that's then not money. That is a lost commodity. So people, like if you've got, 
eight quid of that left in your account, you're not seeing, well, that's eight pounds of my money. You're seeing, oh, that's just a number mm -hmm. that, that I've spent and it's gone. So you don't mind throwing that away and then you'll put more money onto it kind of thing. Whereas if that said eight pounds, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, ah. Yeah, that. you sit on it. So, so I, but PUBG changed from, from currency to G-Coin to make things simpler mm -hmm. is what they put in their press release, which I just... It, it, angered me because I think it's not it's not What's simpler make, than your own yeah. currency do you want to spend four quid on that yeah. or do you want to spend four quid on an arbitrary number of g coin that is just not enough for that so you have to spend another quid <laughs> to, and and it's not it's not simple it's an extra step mm. it's saying it's simple is not only wrong but it's laughing in mm. the face of the people that you're actually taking really? the money off I didn't like it didn't like it no Tuba Bash hey how you doing welcome Hello. in What's MLM? Malamalum. Malamalum. As someone uh, with ADHD, uh, ADHD, I can easily see how they use psychologists to exploit with fake currency. One of the ADHD, uh, ADHD symptoms is excessive spending. <coughs> yeah, exactly. It's that impulsive nature. Multi level marketing. Oh, okay. Ah, the, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's. it's, it's, it's cashing in on that impulsive nature mm -hmm. um, and a, bu a bunch of different um, like Avon yeah is uh, Avon still going? yeah it's got to be an Amway and I haven't like seen anybody because there used to be a dime a dozen didn't there like the, there was always be. 16 people on your estate selling Avon yeah some, your mum's your mum's mate or whatever someone is someone is yeah they are <laughs> Like, I thought in 2022 like Avon just wouldn't be a thing anymore like nah, who's, who needs Avon anymore no comment no comment. Oh, do you know what? I actually, uh, we're over time, by the way. You need to get going. So we'll we'll, we'll wrap things up. Um, I was going to jump from that story, epic story, into, look, epic are great people. Uh, mm. Do you know what? It, well, my screen isn't being shown, so you can still carry on if you want to. Yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll do this bit and then I'll wrap it up anyway because, yeah. I mean, I'm, I've got things to be on with. What I was going to do was tell you about the next epic freebie, um, which is on the Epic Game Store right now, which is, air quotes, them's fighting herds. But that's not the case because two minutes ago, three minutes ago, that expired. Um, and I don't think they refreshed this article that fast. No. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, if you... If you want to know what the Epic Games story is, so do we. Uh, for Epic Games free game is, so do we. We don't know. It See. was, until three minutes ago, Them's Fighting Herds, which was a game um, being given away on the Epic Games free games list. So if you, if you have Epic, uh, you don't need the um, the launcher installed. You can do it within browser. Just get yourself to the Epic Games store. There will oh, be a free game. Wolfenstein, the new order. Oh, there you go. So if you've got yourself uh, an Epic Games account, which if you've played Fortnite or Rocket League or any of that sort of stuff, you've probably got one of those. Go to Epic Games uh, store online, log into the browser. You don't even need the launcher and you can get yourself Wolfenstein free right now. Yeah, do yeah. It. Do it, do it. Um... Uh, I'm watching a YouTuber that does MLMs every Monday. Uh, what, what, they're trying to take the cash off you? Watch someone else. Uh, your nan sells Avon. <laughs> uh, I need Avon. Uh, no lie, their skin's so soft, moisture is one of the best bug repellents. Well-known fact in Scotland. In Scotland, uh, it was a lifesaver. Well, there you go. There you go. Tito sells Avon. Fact. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, we do have a few other stories that we're going to sh uh, shunt over to Thursday. Um... We are going to potentially drop this one because we've already shunted this once, but don't expect a souped-up second-gen Steam Deck anytime soon. Hardware improvements likely to focus on screen and battery life. So basically, the next three, uh, uh, Steam Deck will be an incremental improvement. We'll then talk about Modern Warfare's uh, mid-season update not being as good as they want. It's not been quite smooth. And Nintendo is having a multi-day indie games showcase in 2023. We'll give you the details of that on the next scoop, which is not going to be tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mr. Bim, is there anything yes. you'd like to add? Uh, yeah, uh, we've got one more show left on Thursday, so if you want to get involved with that, there's two ways you can do so. First of all, find us on social media. It's that Ice Cream Uploads across all major social media platforms, or get involved with our Discord. If you are new around here, like Tomb of Ashes, get involved with that, because uh, the community side of our Discord, it's not just obviously a place where people are just going to be throwing news articles, which you can do to shape the next show. Yeah. Um, also, things like Tito are having community nights on there on FIFA, so if you are a FIFA player, get involved with that. Um, <laughs> Dosh Dosh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, join the Discord. God, it's fantastic. We do have community nights and stuff like that that are getting involved in there, like uh, what Tido is hosting tonight. But yeah, we just need your URL plus your thoughts and impressions. We will then give you our thoughts and impressions on our very last scheduled show of the year. At what time on Thursday, Mr. Graham Day? I want to say 10 a.m. 
ish, but it's probably going to be a bit after that. Yeah, well. it's because a... when we'll have Christmas breakfast mm-hmm. stuff like butties and stuff on it. Maybe maybe noon ish 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 on Thursday. Do feel free to join us from around lunchtime ish. We'll end for ten a.m. Best thing yeah. to do is to drop a follow on the channel that way you get notified when we do go last year. <laughs> <Do you laughs> <spell in? laughs> uh, I've been lurking before, says Tumor Vash. Well welcome in. We're welcome, good to have welcome, you. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, reminder that tomorrow there will be no scoop. There will be uh, an evening PUBG stream, which could be the last uh, PUBG stream of the year. Saturday's Christmas Eve. There will be no PUBG stream on Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm doing family things. So join me do, uh, tomorrow night from, from around 6.30. Hopefully, uh, the mates will be chasing crates. Mm-hmm. Uh, myself, Lotus, uh, Nishwo, and, and I don't know if Beans is going to turn up. don't know if it's going to be Neil. don't know if it's going to be P Honey. don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Do, do, you know, do, you, do you know about Phony being P Honey. I do not, but that is a fantastic name. It was, it, well, he's, I realised that his name, Phony Asteroid, also spells P Honey A Steroid. So, okay. So he's Punny A uh, P Honey A Steroid. I mean, it's a lot more than Phony Asteroid. <laughs> but, I mean, you're definitely going around the houses. So Bibby's streaming on Sunday, of course. Yeah, Christmas Day stream. Nice. So yeah, uh, tomorrow for PUBG in the evening. Thursday for the last scoop of the year, and then after that, there may be additional streams, but we'll just fit in mm-hmm. when and we can around Christmas. Tonight, though, if you're around from around 7 o'clock, Tito will be playing some pro clubs. So jump in the Discord. Uh, do feel free to check out uh, what, what those guys are doing. And maybe if, if, you've, if you've got FIFA and you've got a little bit of time, maybe you can jump in. Nice. Yeah. Join the boys. I will be watching. I'll have you on the TV. Uh, no, I oh, no, will, because Wobbly and uh, Wobbles and, and Co will be streaming it. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll put someone on the TV while I'm building uh, the Home Alone yeah. Lego house. Let's do it, baby. But for now, though, um, we will see you tomorrow slash Thursday. Until next time. Stay frosty. Yeah.